Gemini, so welcome. This is the um, energy vibration for the the Gemini's for the dear the quartal. It my best well second badong for the stone, badong for the positive energy vibration, and it got on you the even fracker on Doctor Stone in this quartal. Ga even the alchemy, the general energies. Please look at the general energies, you Gemini's, because there is an, an, a lot of information that is coming out. Okay, so um, this is going to be good. This is going to be positive, positive alignment of energies. So um, this quarter is the quarter of fire. A lot of stuff is going to be happening. Let's see what comes out for you, Gemini. We have the energy of the tower. So something is definitely coming to an end. Whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, I am seeing an end to something. This is the same energy vibration for the general energy. So it's going to affect you, Gemini. Something is going to be collapsing. Some situation is going to come to an end in your life because I'm seeing here, if you notice that people's situation is being moved out of your life, this is also the general energy. So you have fire in the month of October. In the month of November, um, this um, energy that comes up should not have come up. So we're going to be shifting up. Not yet. Not yet. It's not supposed to come up because it's hardship. So it could be the end of hardship. Um, in the month of November, it's going to be looking better for you, Gemini's, because the energy of the star comes in because something had to be released out of your life so something positive can come in. Now, whatever the issue and the situation is, is that whatever this negative energy or situation was that is going to be released out of your life and with that being removed out of your life the universe and your angels and guides is going to be bringing an healing so it could be that a contract is not renewed it could be that some other issues is affecting you and affecting your life that needs to be ended and resolved and in November you're going to be feeling much better okay so some of you it could be that an Aquarius is going to be leaving your life for good whoever this Aquarius is and whoever this person the truth is going to be coming out in December whatever that was transpiring and happening in December the truth is going to be coming out so this is water so you have fire here and water you Gemini's whatever that was hidden is definitely going to be coming out whatever the lies and the deceptiveness and that was transpiring um, whatever that was transpiring around you without you knowing it's definitely going to be coming out in the light and you are going to be working on this because what is transpiring is that some unexpected event is going to be happening and um, some people can't take changes but this changes that is coming in need to happen because uh, the universe realized that a situation um, has been holding you back for quite a long time and the universal angels and guides are deciding to release you out of uh, this negative energy whatever and however this negative energy comes up for you Gemini you have been dealing with something that is unhealthy now this can be um, you were like you were really um, connected with something very unhealthy in your life and the universe is going to be removing you away from this person the situation and this energy and it's going to be good some truth is going to be coming out or something you're going to be finding out something that you weren't aware of you're definitely going to be finding out something you weren't aware of the king of ones is in reverse and this is the person that is being removed out of your life so you Gemini if you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whoever this person is this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this person is going to be removed out of your life and the healing is going to be coming in in February whoever this person is or was whether at the work floor whether in your personal life whether it's your partner your husband um, whoever this person is didn't play a honest role in your life and they're removing this person out so this person could be an uh, a Leo or this cursed person could be also an Aries or a Sagittarius whoever this person was um, this person was a deceptive person that was being deceptive this could be someone who you know it could be a friend Whoever this person is, this is being removed out of your life. 
we have you men five of fear take here and out as this person remove out of your life there is going to be coming an healing and you're going to be finding out something about this person that you weren't aware of so you um gemini's or dealing with a fire sign person or maybe an aquarius or it could also be an aquarius but it could also um be um someone who is uh, um something that has to do with legal issues that sort of a thing but it's as if you're going to be finding out something that someone has brought you in this energy so whoever you are out there that was dealing with someone and it's going to affect a lot of you because whoever this person is um it's going to affect you guys some of you who are married to some of you who are um, marry to an Aquarian um, this person could be released out of your life you could be finding out something about this person and this person is going to be released out of your life the four of ones is in the reverse for you guys so there is an issue it could be an issue at your work it could be an issue with a house whatever this issue and the situation is whatever that is transpiring you're going to be finding out something you um, Gemini about a situation with a house it could be a work situation but it's coming up as a house it could be that you find out that someone did something or put something in your house and it has to do with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person for some of you this is a situation where it's a work situation where you're going to be finding out something about someone a boss or someone in power what they have done and they have tried to change something or do something that affects you and um, this is a definitely definitely going to be coming out because the energies that is here is that whoever was dealing with uh, um, someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're seeing um, this energy coming out now some of you have a lot to do with an and and uh, uh, an Aquarian and some of you have um, things to do with a Pisces some of you have something to do with a Pisces so um, it, it, the, 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 the energy um, is here and um, what is happening and what is transpiring is that whoever someone is going to be coming in and uh, um, let you guys be aware of of something um, whatever they're uh, um, letting you be aware of is going to make a transition in your life because the energy of uh, um, the energy of the hermit is not only um, coming in to show you the light but it's something about a, a Scorpio or a Virgo Okay, so some of you men, forty-five years and older, this could be issues with your kids. You could be finding out uh, um, that um, uh, someone um, ends up in jail. Um, this could be a Scorpio of a Virgo or a water sign person. But there is some legal issue that is going to be coming out, and you're going to be seeing this. The energy of the Tower brings the energy of the Taurus, and Obviously, the energy of the Taurus is the urge, is the practical, is the stability. So this could be a situation with your materialistic, or it could be because this is the second house. The Taurus has the energy of the second house. So uh, whatever is leaving out, whatever is going to be removed out of your life, it could be a house, um, something that is materialistic because the Taurus energy is your materialistic possession and wealth. So this uh, could be coming out. But the healing Uranus is here, and the energy with Uranus, the energy with Uranus is here, and Uranus carries the energy of an Aquarian. So this is definitely, definitely an Aquarian. It is absolutely no question because the Aquarians carry the energy of Uranus. Now, whatever is transpiring, this Aquarian. Is going to be a breakthrough about an Aquarian something about an Aquarian it could be a technology it could be something 
um, but it's like an energy of innovation that is coming in so some breakthroughs some information about an Aquarian it doesn't have to be an Aquarian you could be bringing out something in the world that is going to help humanity freedom is coming um, to you from and being free from an issue or a situation or people being free from an issue or a situation or people that was old in you as hostage the energy of the scorpion is here so this is definitely a scorpion so some of you are going to be finding out something about a scorpion okay so wh whoever this is it can be a scorpion or a Virgo the scorpions is here because the energy of the hermit is bringing up something something that you guys are going to be finding out and I think um, it could be a legal action um, something about a scorpion that you're going to be finding out the truth about a scorpion and a legal situation is going to be coming out the king of wands is that you're going to be um, some of you are going to be speaking up against this person some of you whoever this person is this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it can be a man or a woman and some of you are either going to be speaking about this person or speaking up about this person or tell this person it is time to hand a relationship or a connection that you have because this no longer serves whatever that has been transpiring and whatever that has been happening there is information that is going to be coming out and some of you are going to be speaking up against something that someone has done okay and it is over communication you're going to it could be a lawsuit that is uh, that um, somebody wants to um, to ask you about this person because they have done some injustice now the energy of the Capricorn is here and with the energy of the Capricorn um, you men could be returning to a Capricorn okay you men could be returning to a Capricorn but what is whatever is transpiring for you men 45 years and older you could have had an issue with a Capricorn and this Capricorn could have been connected with a scorpion and you're going to be finding out the truth a scorpion or a Virgo and you're going to be finding out the truth what was happening and a legal issue okay and you're going to be realizing that a scorpion has done something where you're going to be um, communicating with this Capricorn because whatever is transpiring some of you have an issue with a, a, a Scorpio and a Virgo some of you have an issue with this older man but I this older man is going to be lived in your life because this older man has done something illegal and that has to do with your materialistic stability some of you could find out that this man has used your information and he is going to be caught and jailed okay he is going to be caught and jailed then we have energy with our house and whatever is this energy with this house this energy with the house there's going to be some luck okay whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is you're going to be finding and receiving some luck so if there was an um you know an unexpected thing something that transpired with the house and this is why I always said to people go check out the general reading it could be at work this is more coming up for the issue at work where um whatever is transpiring with someone on the work floor that is a fire sign um, you're going to be having uh, some luck so whatever that was happening at work on the work floor you're going to be having some luck so I'm seeing Uranus is in the center of your reading Uranus is in the center of your reading and what is happening for um, you Gemini's and we're calling in pure lights and being to show us what exactly is happening for um, the Gemini Sun Moon Horizon sign because whatever the situation is is that a Taurus or some materialistic aspect is going to be removed out of your life for once and all okay so we have the Taurus so some of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus if your relationship has ended it can be that your relationship is going to be ending with a Taurus or it can be that your relationship ends and a Taurus is going to be coming in but it can also be that some of you are going to be reconnecting with a Taurus after the ending of something some of you are going to be finding out that this person 
is your soulmate or your twin flame Uranus comes in with the Aquarians and there is going to be some peace so whatever the issue and situation was with you and uh, some Aquarians or you and a situation this situation is going to be ill it doesn't have to be an Aquarians but it is coming up as an healing that needs to take place and this healing could come up between you and a twin flame and a soulmate there's definitely a healing where if you were in a relationship that relationship is going to be ended and a twin flame or soul mate is going to be returning in your life and this is um, definitely definitely going to be very very positive because a breakthrough and peace is going to be coming in a breakthrough and peace is going to be coming in and this is going to be good now we're looking at the scorpion because um, definitely for some of you Gemini this is a child okay whoever and whatever is going on if you Gemini have a child that is a scorpion or a Virgo there is definitely something that you're going to be finding out you're going to be finding out something about the scorpion okay because it's a scorpion or a Virgo where the light is going to be shown on this person where some information you're going to be finding out about this person that they have done something okay or um, it could be also a healing that is coming up for a child if your child was ill. as we look at the king the king of wands this king of wands is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this king of wands is it was a friend it was a friend and uh, you have decided and this could be someone on the work floor you have decided to remove this person out of your life for good whoever and however this person comes up you realize that this person is up to no good you are deciding whoever this person is I need to release them out of my life this was a friend that some of you are going to communicate and said listen I can't be friends with you anymore I prefer not to and you are going to be handing a connection with that person then we have that some of you Gemini's were having a karmatic issue with a stembok and this healing is going to be coming in the end of November going in December so whoever the stand book is there is definitely a healing that is coming up for you and the stand book so um, it could be whether you're a man or a woman um, and uh, you have an issue and a karmatic issue with um, a stand book this is going to be ending okay some of you this could be a work situation with a boss um, there was some legal action that was taken and this is going to finally come to an end end of November going in December and the last and finest a lot of you are going to be receiving um, some money whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is I am seeing money coming in from a house this could be that some of you are going to be having extra bonuses that is coming in um, but this could be a situation with a house where you're going to be unexpectedly receiving some money that you weren't aware of and it has to do with a house it was as if um, you were overcharged something or you weren't paying something or some money unexpected money from a house is going to be returning to you and it's going to be good because that is going to be healing an issue a karmatic issue between you and someone else it could be that you have divorced and then someone else has the house and the house is for cock and now money is going to be coming in so um, this could be in the month of November but it can be between October and now and December and this is going to be good so let's see what else is here I think it's a very beautiful um, period for you Gemini's okay so we have rest and rejuvenation we have rest and rejuvenation um, and this is really good because it is a period where you have gone through a lot the whole year and what is transpiring is that some of you are going to be finding out that um, some situation with a house um, 
it's going to affecting you guys it can be not really a house but a materialistic thing I'm seeing you resting after a period of some real unhealthy situation that has transpired in your life and you're really you now resting and coming out um, of because of, peace is here and the ending to a very karmatic situation okay and some of you could be a karmatic situation with a child if a child was well this child is going to be feeling better which is um, very good so whatever that is transpiring this third quarter is going to be a quarter where you need to rest and rejuvenate then we have the sacred chakra and it's like take back your power take back your power ladies and gentlemen you got to take back your power it's like taking back your power it's like standing up and taking back your power understanding where you are understanding what is going on but you're definitely going to be standing up and taking back your power is this the um, the sacred chakra and uh, the energy for the sacred chakra it is always that you can say them it is the healing of uh, the chakra okay your sacred chakra it is the activation of your sacred chakra okay your sacred chakra is where your power is it's orange and it's vum, vum, vum. it helps with your testicles and it helps the ladies with the ovaries and it's the key word I want I want I want to be happy I want to have peace I want to have happiness peace in my life and this is what is going to be payout so it's vum, vum. so please check out um your energy vibration so i'm seeing some of you um a relationship could be ending and you're returning um to someone um that is your twin flame or soulmate i'm seeing that a taurus um is really in love with you and because you're a Gemini if you're a cup person with a Taurus this is good I'm seeing a healing that is coming up with a, a situation because um breakthroughs are going to be coming in I am seeing healing especially with a child I'm seeing unexpected money also coming in that you weren't aware of there is some unexpected money so I'm saying namaste until next time there is um not really the energy that is coming up because that is nine um so 99 an end of a cycle is coming in um where things are going to be ending 99 is here where the end of a cycle and things are going to be ending okay so thank you for being here please check out the on demand namaste